Hey, so I've been noticing a trend on a few people's channels that I watch. There's always critics, there's always someone ignorant, for lack of a better term, on um, feeding their dogs raw. Um, I, for one, feed mine raw. Um, my rescue had a lot of problems digesting. Um, well, when we got her, she was emaciated. I'll uh, share a picture in, in this video. Um, she had to start out eating oatmeal balls, and I went from there. Um, she still had problems on and off when she finally, you know, got used to having something in her stomach again. It's completely heartbreaking. Best dog, one of the best dogs I've ever had. Still have. She's really old now. Um, well, some years went by and I would get different dry food, dog food brands. Some I noticed were better than others. I totally went away from Walmart or big store brands. Um, and um, it was okay, but not where I wanted her to be because I started noticing tumor-like growths um, under her skin, and they were growing pretty rapidly. Um, and then she would have these fits of diarrhea, this, this, and that. So I discovered the barf diet from um, someone that I would pet sit their dogs while she was, you know, at work, and um, she gave them raw. And, you know, it was absolutely fascinating. Um, so, Animal Watch, dry food almost killed my dog. I mean, so many people don't realize just how unhealthy these foods are. Um, and I know some people don't mean it. You, know, you want to do what's best for your your love for babies. She ha That video hits so many different... Um, you just gotta watch it, really. Um, you know, it describes these dogs, our dogs. You could change your thumb throughout the 3,000 years or 30,000 years of breeding and changing out, but they're still wolves, you know? Um, and their insides need, you know, certain things that are not in dry or store-bought dog food. So, um, since I've started my Lola on this food, her tumors, some feel like they've gone away, but mostly they haven't progressed. Um, she's still in a lot of pain. Uh, so we give her CBD and some natural, you know, things that will benefit her. Um, but, um, I mean, it's just pure torture if you think about what you're doing to your dog. So this whole thing about bones are dangerous and raw, they'll get some kind of, they're not humans. We eat certain raw foods, it'll be bad for us, you know. They need that stuff. It's good for them. Um, also, I watch, this is where I got my shirt, uh, 101st 508 Airborne. Awesome channel. Awesome couple. I'm obsessed with their puppies. Um, he has so many videos also that explain the bark diet, how he does it with his puppies. And, I mean, they're, they're really awesome. Um, I definitely recommend watching them, even though nobody really, I mean, who am I? I'm just some gal on YouTube <laughs> with hardly no uh, viewers, but that's okay. Um, I'm sharing, you know, I, pretty much things I enjoy. I'm not a professional uh, video YouTuber or anything like that, but, you know, I'm going to continue to show things that I love and my animals and you know, different things like that, but definitely check those two things out. 
I know my Lola has benefited it, benefited it, has benefited greatly. Um, my younger German Shepherd, she's a beast. She's absolutely amazing as well. And, um, you know, when I got her, they were feeding her um, kibble, uh, some kind of earthbound kibble. But she was not in good shape either. I mean, this girl, you know, when they go to a transition, unless, well, that's a whole nother topic, but they definitely didn't handle her or do things in her best interest that I would have preferred to. Like, for example, on the 100, the first 508 channel, everything he does with his puppies are amazing. And if and when I have puppies, I'm definitely going to follow some of his neurological stimulation and different things like that to have the best puppies one can have. You know, there's a few bad breeders has and puppy mills, pet stores really put a a dark cloud over responsible breeders or people that have a passion for dogs love a certain breed of dog and I mean it's just not fair but I'm, I'm not going to fight the world because obviously you know people don't get it um, but I do a lot of work with rescues right now I have a little four kittens um, sometimes I take in babies that are orphaned and need mommies so it all just really depends on the need. Um, I uh, don't like reading insults, but um, you know, there are some decent people that want to produce good dogs and still rescue and have their own you know, shelter dogs or whatnot. So, anyway, I really much, this is the first time I ever did a video for YouTube. Um, so, I'm just kind of talking. This is one of my kitties, one of my fosters. I call her India. Um, she's one of the most um, lovey out of that group. Out of the group, out of the litter. She's got a really big fat belly, so I don't know. That just was, came on out of nowhere. I don't know if she just ate a lot or what, but they're going to have their uh, follow up soon. And um, the worm mom, I think they might give them booster shots. I don't really know what they're going to do. They're just going to really much ch check them more. Um, yeah, so this is little India. With her fat belly. <laughs> and this is Boo. It's a little girl. She's Boo Boo Kitty. Boo Boo Kitty. <laughs> Here is Jade and Tonto. She's the scaredy scary one. And um Hello. we are trying to handle her most. Get her kind of used to they we're really feral, I don't know, but and you're such a lovely boy. She's a scaredy girl. So So I'm about to feed my dogs. Um today I only have ground turkey for them, but when I do, I add a few things to it, and I'll show you. Okay, so I'm gonna feed my crew um, some ground turkey. I like to stick with um, cool meats or neutral meats, like beef. I don't feed them chicken. Um, that's considered a hot meat but you know if I need to um, but you know I'll feed them turkey beef which is a neutral um, sometimes I'll go to the meat market and get a whole rabbit 
Um, they just love it. Um, so yeah, I also gonna so show you stuff that I add to it when it's just the ground beef. So this is about 60 ounces. Um, I couldn't tell by grabbing it because I've been doing it for so long. Um, you know, and uh, 60 ounces a day of raw. No good treats in between. So, that. I'm going to wash my hands. Give me one second. Okay, I'm back. So, today they're going to have, you know, their ground turkey. I like to add pumpkin. Um, great for the, their digestion. Great for their digestive tracts. Plus, they love it. So, um... I don't have a fork or a spoon, I should say. So. Here we go. So since I am doing the um, ground turkey, um, I do like this when it's um, not a whole uh, animal that I'm giving. So I'll sprinkle a little of this ad life on it. Um, and it's good for dogs and cats. It's a good supplement. It has all the good stuff they need. And they sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Now, they do recommend this for... Um, as life restores critical living food elements to any heated, processed dog or cat food. So it's not necessary, necessarily saying wrong, but in the holistic um, animal shop that I like to get some of my supplements from them, really recommends it because you cook the food, you take the nutrients out. Sometimes you give them raw, you might not give them the appropriate amount bone to organ ratio um, and since I'm only using ground turkey today I want to add some of that in another thing I really love is this immunity it's um it's an all uh, mushroom different mushroom complex that's great for dogs and cats and I find for my oldest and she she loves it and it's really good for her her tumors, her fatty growths, her her age, um, and all that good stuff. So that's pretty much what's going to go in there. I'll add some broccoli, some green beans. My older dog absolutely loves that stuff. My puppy, I mean, she'll eat everything and just leave her vegetables, just like one of my kids. <laughs> um, and then in a little bit, little bit later, I will give them, um, you know, a beef bone with marrow, which is also super good for them. So they'll get some of their bone. Yeah, they don't eat the whole bone, but you know, they'll definitely have the marrow and all that good stuff. So yeah. Um, so this was just a quick little follow up after my first. Uh, rant I guess I don't even know what it's called about that video but it hit home for me um, and I, I really really do um, recommend raw um, your veterinarian I have a friend that gets I don't even know what that dog food is but the veterinarians push it I've had some veterinarians say some awful things I've heard friends say some awful things that vets say about giving their dogs raw. It's, they should know better. Um, but they gotta push that. Science diet, that's the one. That is one of the worst. I mean, you're better off with a bag of pedigree before uh, commercial food than that. I mean, and there's 
a lot of people that suffer. One of my, um, like the friend I'm talking about that, the veterinarian scared her out of eating raw and I'm like really wanting her to switch over. Her little doggy has um, irritable bowel syndrome also and just not getting better. You know, and they'll feed them just like with us. They push these medications and all it is is a lifestyle change with food. Take in what's good, leave the bad stuff alone. I mean, doesn't take a rocket science, but I know that I have a problem with sweets, so. Anyway, all right. Talk to you guys later.